This neighborhood is just one part of the seven and a half mile long path that an EF2 tornado wreaked havoc on. People in this part of town say their homes saw minimal damage, but their vehicles, landscaping, and anything else outside was hit hard. But really, I got lucky on the house. My truck, not so much. Mike Duren says he knew it was time to go to the basement when he saw his flag spinning in circles on its pole. As it got closer, it got louder, louder, louder. I thought it sounded like it was going to kind of quit, and then the next thing we know, the power went out. So I was in the basement, and then you know how they say it sounds like a freight train? I'd never believe those people. It does. Kathy McNorris lost most of her windows and the privacy fence around her pool. Her neighbor's trampoline was picked up by the wind and flung over several houses before catching a branch, still stuck in a tree. McNorris says they're lucky no one was killed by the storm as she pointed to a limb that speared a water filter and came out the other side. It looked like a war zone. Many stumps are still uprooted, left over from the 125 mile an hour winds, according to the National Weather Service. When I came up, all I saw was this big tree. None may be bigger than Mary Kay Buacker's giant elm that fell from her hill, landing not on her home, but in the street. She says she's thankful to have neighbors and family to cut it up and put it on the curb for the cleanup crews. That's, that's, what, that's what we do, help each other. Now there is an emergency par uh, parking ban here in Pleasant Hill for the next few days so crews can get in and maneuver around the brush and pick it up. You can find that information about where you can and can't park and during what hours on our website at KCCI.com. We're in Pleasant Hill, Bo Bowman, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.